Hey guys, so today I wanted to take a look at some of the new rules that'll be coming out for this season coming up. With it being a shorter season and it already being as new and strange as it can be, this is the perfect time to add some new rules and see if they work, test the waters a little bit. So the first rule I wanted to take a look at was the use of designated hitters in the National League. This is the first time that it's happened in history and although it is kind of odd to see that, it'll be a very welcome change for the National League as it's much better to have a designated hitter than a pitcher to bat, obviously. So with that, it may be better to have your pitcher sometimes bat as some teams have better pitchers who can rake, such as Madison Bumgarner and Noah Syndergaard. But other teams may not have that luxury, so it is always useful for those teams. The second rule is an extra innings rule in which the team that will be batting will have a person on second base to start the inning. It won't count as uh, an error or anything like that, but that's what they will take it as. So it won't be considered an earned run and it won't be considered an error, but it will help the teams get a run faster or have a better chance. And for some teams, this will be a much welcomed uh, chance of winning as teams that have really fast players such as Tim LaCastro on the, on the Diamondbacks or Billy Hamilton, for example, whatever team he ever ends up being on, they will have a great advantage as they are extremely fast players. The one downside though to this person on second base is it's not chosen by the team as it ends up being whoever basically got out last but in their words, they say whoever is the last batter in the, the ninth batter from the next one. So it could be a very slow player, like maybe Albert Pujols, and that would be very terrible for the uh, Angels, but a person on second base is good nonetheless. The rule that was actually introduced far before COVID-19 even started was the idea of a three batter minimum rule, which would require that any pitcher starting or relieving has to face three pit, uh, three batters, regardless of whether they get them out or not, just to make sure that they they actually use these pitchers for any amount of time and that they use them a little more wisely, as bringing in a pitcher for only one or maybe two outs is not necessarily unfair for the batters, but it gives them a chance for those relievers or those starters if they're having a if they you know had some sort of issues if they're doing the starting plan. Uh, to actually pitch more. Now they do have some rules as well about the idea of social distancing and things like that uh, just to ensure the safety of all of them. One of them which I find very funny that they even had to say in the first place is that nobody's allowed to spit at all whether whether it's just for saliva or sunflower seeds or what have you it's not allowed at all and that's I find that pretty funny. Uh, they also have expanded dugouts and bullpen space they're adding somehow I don't know how they would manage to do that but it's definitely a good thing to do for the idea of physical and social distancing so to ensure that no team is traveling too far away they made it so that the 40 of 60 games will be played within their division which for some divisions can be a little uh, long of travel but that would have happened anyways and then it'll be 20 interleague games against uh, teams that are close geographically to them. An example of this would be the Orioles. They could play all the, pl the teams in the AL East, the Jays, Rays, Red Sox, and Yankees, but they could also play in against players and teams in the NL East, including things like the Mets and the Braves and Nationals. The final change that I seem, that I find is drastically different is the injury list where they have it so that now it's only 10 days or 45 days that you'll be placed on a list rather than either 15 or 60. I don't know if that's necessarily because they are shortening it because, oh, maybe they might be able to come back earlier or if it's just so that they have a small likelihood of chance to actually come back. Uh, but it is a, a substantial change, 15 days in the one, five in the other. And then they have a COVID-19 related injured list for those who have a confirmed test so that they can't come back until they've had um, further tests and negative tests. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a good rest of your day.